In 1930, in North Corbin, Kentucky, one man had a dream. And that dream would become the greatest fried chicken franchise in America, nay, the world. It's eaten in Japan for their Christmas dinner. Santa Claus hops down the chimney with a big old bucket of chicken. Today, I will attempt the impossible, and I will taste everything that KFC serves at its fine chain establishment. Whoa, <laughs> it smells great in there. I don't have every single thing you could purchase by line, but everything they sell is represented on this table. Sometimes it's in three piece meals, sometimes in a bucket, you get it. We don't need to double dip here. It's improper when eating fried chicken. I don't have a bucket today because this food actually already comes in buckets, so there's no need. How about we start with something they've been selling for a long time, but I've never had, the pot pie. Warm yourself from the inside. Ooh. Cryptic. You're about to embark on a journey that will end with you eating a handmade pot pie. Won't the, the journey begin with me eating a pot pie? <laughs> also, I'm not drinking a sweet tea. I'm drinking a, what is it? Mango Fiesta iced tea from Brisk. Nothing says Kentucky like Mango Fiesta. Oh, God. Also, we're gonna rate all this food on how finger licking good it is. Is it one finger licking or five finger licking? Wow, I'm about to cry, <laughs> it's so good. I am not even using my fingers, this is 10 fingers good. <laughs> There's so many fingers. It's like I'm making out with a kernel. I don't think Kentucky would approve of that. Wow, there's so much text on this box. And it's so funny, it says dreams do come true. You're right, they're so funny. More like Kentucky Fried Chuckle. <laughs> Enjoy my freshly prepared food, then hey, free box. This is chicken wings? They sell chicken wings? Why wouldn't they? It's the same thing. Ooh, they're a little spicy. Pretty tasty. Let's crack open this ranch. <laughs> A-S-M-R-A-N-C-H. Whoa! We're Marilyn Monroeing! That's a nice amount of heat. I'm sweating a little bit. Like three and a half finger looking goods. We got another box! Made with delicious chicken, but named after popcorn. That's marketing gold, folks. <laughs> The KF chuckle gets me again. This one tastes the most processed. They have this finger licking good sauce. I have no idea what it is. Oh my God. Wow, what a complex sauce. They're not bad. I'm sure kids like these and they're a great vehicle for sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody's favorite, Zach Kornfeld. Am I the first guest? You are the first guest. You wanna do our theme song? Yeah. Okay. Here comes the man in black. That's not our theme song. <laughs> KFC. La la la. It's happening over it's just, here. It's just, it just, it just, it just, it just, it just. This has been happening? Even the table gets bloated when you eat fried chicken. Nice. Try this sauce. You're about to freak your butt apart. My butt. See? Stop it. See? Potato wedgies. Cheers. That's really good. Oh yeah. Yeah, great crispiness. Oh yeah. The potato's super fluffy inside. Oh. My God. I think it's worth going to KFC just for this. Here, try this drink. What is happening? It's a real drink they offer. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Next. Ooh, what have we got here? Original recipe. This here, folks, is what started it all. Mm, very fatty. Look at that dark meat. Just oozing. Let's try this drum in here just to check out the drum. Oh, yeah. Four finger lickings. Oh my God, it, look, it's the food for children. So we got a little chicken little sandwich, some mac and cheese, squeezable applesauce. It's been in the same box. So guys, this applesauce is 100 degrees. <laughs> it's better than the drink. I need the, uh, the spork. Oh, can we look, talk, look at this, hold on. You see what I'm seeing? They changed it. It's like a rectangular food. Things change. Uh, it does the job. It's not amazing, but it's not bad at all. One to three fingers, depending on how much you like mac and cheese. The real thing that matters here is the chicken little. This is a little chicken sandwich for children. Ah! I'm gonna be honest, I would recommend you not get this. I think if you're taking your kid to KFC, just buy him a bucket. Who are you, who are you kidding? Yeah, this is no bueno. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stuck in Taco Bell land. Oh, that is not brisk, baby. Sandwiches. KFC's got a lot of them, and I've never had any of them. Well, I have one of the old slider ones, and I did have one in the kids' menu a moment ago. But other than that, I've never done it. I feel like you have to pit these sandwiches against one another. How could I do that alone? I would only be able to have a little chicken competition with the one and only Chris Reinecker. Hey! 
chicken watch, baby. Well, we don't know if we have that IP back, baby. Oh. Chicken sandwich showdown! 2K18. What's your rubric for sandwiches? Moisture of the chicken. Okay, moisture. Crispiness of the outside. Of, of you're talking of the chicken, of the chicken. itself. Okay, right. not the bread. The mouth feel. Mouth feel is a is a really good category. Mouth yeah. Feel. It's like about That's... how does it feel in your mouth? Colonel's crispy chicken sandwich. Actually, looks like a giant version of the kids' sandwich. Should we, Lady and the Trampet? How should we do this? All right. Fine. Bland. I'm not licking any fingers. Georgia Gold Honey Mustard Barbecue. Barbecue just means sauce, right? Because there's no barbecue back there. No. I don't know what a Georgia chicken is. It's a chicken that talks like <sighs> this, Chris. The chicken breast on this one was better. It was more moist. Maybe it's because it had sauce on it. I feel like I'm so used to tasting good chicken with you, though, that I'm just going to be negative this entire well, taste. Well, try test. not to be. Try it hard, and I like the packaging. Wow, what wow. the f Oh. oh, wait a minute. Bam, 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 bam. I read about this. I didn't think we'd get it because uh, for a brief stint in the summer, in some places they had the pickle fried chicken. We got it, guys. We got it. This is the pickle chicken from KFC. In the chicken challenge. No, sandwich. The chicken, chicken sandwich, sandwich showdown. showdown. Ah. Showdown. Chicken, chicken sandwich showdown. 2K18. Wow, you really got to flex that jaw to get in there, huh? You just like barely have to open your mouth. <laughs> This is sort of what they replaced the double down with. Eh. Double down was so aggressive. I've never gotten heartburn so fast in my life, but it was delicious. Whoa, the sandwich is oh, yeah. bailing. It's fine, it's boring. Also, like, you don't want to go through this in the middle of the day. Let's be honest with ourselves. What, what, why are you, what are you doing? Why do you order this? Sam's All right, what are we doing now? Screen time. Smoky Mountain Barbecue. Smoky Mountain Barbecue. There we go. Ooh, a little now bit that of spice, looks like huh? a different sandwich. Yeah. I fancy barbecue sauce right there. That one's in the lead for me. I think that's definitely, of the sandwiches, especially a five finger looking good. Of the menu as a whole, probably a four finger looking good. Wow. Thank you. Nashville, hot. I just love smelling sandwiches. Okay. Spicy. Whoa! Got immediate kick. Wow. That's the most interesting thing we've eaten all day in the chicken, chicken sandwich, sandwich showdown. showdown. Oh, the scobles on that are up there. That is the hottest fried chicken sandwich I've ever had from a fast food place. From a fast food place? By far. Oh God, give wow. me this terrible drink. I dig it though. It's a five finger licking good. It's really delicious. It hits your spice buds immediately. Hits those spice buds immediately. Spice buds. <laughs> spice buds. Right now, I don't think anything is gonna beat the Nashville hot. Looks like we got another stupid big sandwich. Americans like more. Oh, I'm supposed to eat it? Uh -huh. All right. Bit my finger a little bit. Um, this one tastes better than the pickle one. I think it actually is better to have two plain chicken breasts and two pickle breasts. I'm done with this sandwich. It's stupid, it's not very good. It bores me. This is the chicken tender sandwich thing that they give for children. I've already eaten it, you can eat it. I, I ate like it in the kids idea. meal. No. It's boring. Yeah, it sucks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Let's just at least keep it, because we might be able to feed it to somebody. So at the end of the Chicken Sandwich Showdown, 2K18, who won, Chris? Nashville Hot Chicken, hands down. Second place? Smoky barbecue. barbecue. Then the original, then the Georgia Gold, then the pickle thing, then the double versions, then the chicken tender thingy. Thanks for joining me, Chris. No problem. On the Chicken, chicken Sandwich, sandwich showdown, showdown, 2K18. All right, thanks, Chris. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye hey. chicken buddy. Bye. Check out Chris's YouTube, youtube.com slash simpleplay. No, Chris Ryan, just say Chris Reiniger. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the KFC Famous Bowl. This is mashed potatoes topped with gravy, corn, cheese, and chicken popcorn. It's served with a, a foon, and you just go on. No. <laughs> is this the spork you know and love, Zach? What's different about it? The, the spork was circular with prongs. This is rectangular. Is a spoon rectangular? There's nothing circular about this. This is a foon. It's a fork dominant fork spoon. <laughs> There's a reason this bowl is famous. That is good. It is alarmingly good. It's sort of swimming in gravy and mashed potatoes. The chicken is like really moist because it's living in this steam world. I wonder if at any point in the concept of this, they were like, do you think we can convince people to eat it without a utensil? Just like. 
This is four out of five finger looking good. This is delicious. Oh, wow, guys, you're in your car, you're on your way somewhere, you don't have time for a plate, you don't have room for a bowl. You can put it in your cup holder, you can put it <laughs> on your fingers. I'm excited for the chicken tenders, but this sweet and tangy sauce. Oh, I better bite it, I gotta bite it raw first. I think the popcorn chicken's better, somehow. The Go Cup can go home. Not Ladies like and gentlemen, please welcome the incomparable Eugene Lee. Yeah. Hey, it's Pesto. Wow. Get the dog out of here. That's my baby. Get the dog out of here. Look at my baby. Get the dog out of here. Woo, Keith. get the dog out of here. Get oh, the just... dog. This isn't the Barksler. How cute does he look right He here? looks adorable, duh, but that's not the point of the video. We can't just keep inserting dogs randomly into videos. <laughs> All right, first off, try that drink. Why is it so greasy? Oh. God, that's awful. It's terrible. Is that a peach tea? <laughs> no, it's like a mango fiesta tea from uh, that. All right, we got pickle chicken. This is chicken that's been <laughs> doused in pickle juice. Why did you bring me to this it's one? It's a summer favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pickle butter. Mm. Ladies. You know, it doesn't taste as bad as it smells. You're totally right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I went to put the lid back on and it was full of pickle butter. I'm not, I don't want to touch it anymore. Well, I need it to leave and I need you to leave. I don't mean it like that. I just do, we have to move on. Will you call me when you do Popeyes? Yes. You'll know we sit next to each other at work. That's true. Ooh, chicken lesson. There's three things you order at restaurants. You get chicken tenders, you get chicken strips, you get chicken fingers. Is there a difference there? Sure. It is. Chicken tenders are the actual piece of tenderloin meat on the side of a breast. That's the best thing you can get. The second best thing you can get is a chicken strip. That's any whole piece of meat cut into strips, breaded and fried. Chicken fingers are ground up chicken mishmash, breaded and fried. If you go to a restaurant and it says chicken tenders, you got the good stuff. If you got chicken strips, probably still pretty good. You got chicken fingers, mm, be wary. Chicken lesson. This is the Georgia Gold chicken tenders. That means this actually is the piece of breast meat that was cut off. This smells so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Lightly sweet. So crispy. Can you hear the crispiness? Four out of five. Finger lickings. All right, everybody, let's stay focused, huh? My cam ops are eating chicken. What do we got here? We got some other chicken. This is the Smoky Mountain Barbecue Chicken Tenders. Hear that? I'm a little bored by it if I'm being totally honest. Ladies and gentlemen, the father, the, the father, Ned, that's here. That's it, yeah. I thought I was supposed to enter after the father. <laughs> I, was, like, I was like, that's, the father. It, that's me. Ned, try that drink. Okay. I kind of like it. I think it's also sugar free, which I don't like. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Nashville hot chicken tenders. <gasps> Smell that. Oh my God. Put some south in your mouth. Are you feeling it? I'm not feeling it. Really? Nope. You don't get any heat off this? My mouth is on fire. So out of five finger lickings, how many fingers would you lick? Oh, this is a five, baby. <laughs> this one's good. This is all I want to eat, though. I'm, I'm like... Okay, well, done. then you can leave. <laughs> yeah. Great, okay, thanks cool. for it. Say bye, everybody. Bye, bye. bye Ned. Bye. Sides. Look at these instant potatoes. Shazam. Potatoes by themselves, probably like a two out of five with the gravy, bumps up to a four out of five. Corn! Mmm. This corn is squirming like a freak on a leash. I just really wanted to reference corn. <laughs> like a freak on a leash. That's how they sing. <laughs> I'm really not sure why I listened to Corn as a kid. It really isn't the kind of person I am. Oh shit. Having all these together, I think the mac and cheese actually might be the best thing. I'm gonna up this to five out of five. Well, yeah, looky here. <laughs> I feel like I'm becoming a fancy debutante. Why? It looks like we've got some slaw. Ooh. This is one of the few chances you have at eating vegetables at KFC. Sweet, crunchy, really good slaw. I'm gonna give it like a two finger licking because it's not that it's not good. It's just like, I'm not gonna spend much time here at KFC. Ladies and gentlemen, the Colonel's favorite Kentucky Fried Chicken in a Bucket. It's finger licking good. And before we even get to the chicken, let's talk about this golden circle that we've all been waiting for me to try. When you walk into a KFC, the first thing you smell are these. 
not the chicken. How's it possible that this overrides the smell of so much chicken being cooked? The butteriness, the flakiness. I mean, let's look. Oh, oh. I'm not like a honey biscuit boy, but I know if I don't do this, I'm gonna endure the wrath of the internet like crazy. So I'm putting honey on my biscuits. People care about this, and I care about doing it right. Oh, it's so good. Wow, oh my God. I gotta airlift the biscuits out. This is why I'm the bucket king of Los Angeles. Oh my God. Seconds ago in my head, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I'm getting really full. No, it's so good. The flavor of the meat is incredible. Wow. Oh, that thigh though. It's almost like too delicious. If this isn't finger licking good, I don't know what it is. Look at these fingers. What can I do but lick? God, this is hand looking good. <laughs> this is two out of two, hands. <laughs> so we've had the bucket, we've had everything KFC has to offer. Uh, not quite. That's right, because just like Taco Bell, KFC is famous for its dessert. This cookie looks pretty good. Ooh, ooh, brittle. Yeah, it'll do. If I had a glass of milk, I'd, I'd this up. Three out of five fingers. I got a little chicken skin on the cake. Check this cake out. Look at how soft it is. Is this cake gonna be good? It can't be good. It's pretty good cake. I'll give this a three out of five. I gave the cookies a three out of five. I think this is pretty darn finger licking okay. Kentucky Fried Cake. Kentucky Fried Chicken sells so much chicken. What's the best chicken from KFC? What's the best item from KFC? I think the Nashville Hot Chicken Sandwich was by far the best chicken sandwich. Of the chicken tenders, maybe the original is the best. Maybe the Nashville Hot also took that. I think the Nashville Hot is the best of the sauces. I think the original recipe is pretty darn flavorable. Flavorable. Flavorable? Flavorable. But the single best chicken dish from KFC is the chicken pot pie. I think it was amazing. I know that's not fried chicken, <laughs> but I, I, I'm being totally honest when I say the chicken pot pie is one of the best pot pies I've had. And did you saw it? The pieces of chicken in there were not cubed chicken that they threw in there because they had excess chicken. They threw huge pieces of chicken in that. Of the fried chicken, I think the original recipe is the best thing of the fried chicken. But the best dish is hands down that chicken pot pie. I would eat a whole chicken pot pie right now. Oh <laughs> yeah. It says that you're gonna go on an adventure. Oh my God. Holy, oh everybody, hold up. I ate this first and it said, you are about to embark on a journey that will end with you eating a handmade pot pie. I just got chills. This has been Eat the Menu. I'm Keith Habersberger. I think I'm gonna vomit. What should I eat next? What, where do you want me to eat? Maybe Salad Mart? Also, we got a lot of people challenging me to do this, thinking I would never want to eat fried chicken again. <laughs> you stupid, you stupid idiots. Of course I want to eat fried chicken again. Nothing could stop me. Isn't this like in that Labyrinth movie, there's a guy who's like this? <laughs> I didn't see that movie.